Trucker here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy it. I'm standing here with Charlie Nichols. How are you today, Charlie? I'm good. What brings you to the truck show today? Well, I like to look at other trucks. I'm a retired trucker and uh, don't mind showing off my prize. Uh, this is an old truck that I found just before I retired. It was sitting in the woods. Hadn't been run in 12 years. Uh, where did you Where did you find it? Up in Wolfboro, New Hampshire. Okay. I'd been driving by it. I was working locally at the time, and finally I stopped, and there was a sign in the grass that said for sale. So I negotiated for it, brought it home. Uh, it took me about an hour to get it running. Yeah. And but it was tired. So a couple weeks later, I found this uh, Airstream on on uh, Craigslist in Southern New Hampshire. It was in an estate sale, and I bought it and said I can make this work. Oh my god. Then I found a donor truck. Now, the original truck was totally inappropriate for my use. <laughs> uh, had wedge brakes, uh, Dayton wheels, 14 leaf front springs, mm -hmm. uh, an axle ratio that wasn't going to go down the highway good. And over time, it's morphed and changed. Uh, we've got it where you can walk through between the cab of the truck. I've made a, yeah. bo a booted area that works pretty well uh so you can go right through so it's licensed as an rv can i take a peek yeah of course oh, what a beautiful cab hi who's this that's reina and jude hey reina and jude you guys are beautiful you got a nice yeah. dashboard yeah so this i redid all that redid all the dash uh it keeps me out of trouble working on it <laughs> so <laughs> it's on. yeah let's take a peek Go ahead. I'm not gonna go all the way in. I just want to take a peek. Wow! Look at that. I think it's bigger than my house. Well, I don't know about that. It's 110 <laughs> square feet back there. 110 feet? Yeah. So when I retired, uh, after I got it done, we immediately took off for Florida, mm -hmm. and it wasn't really done. It didn't have a tachometer, didn't have a speedometer, didn't have a fuel gauge. But I made Florida and back, <laughs> and then I've continued. Uh, modifying it since then. What are some of the modifications you've done? Well, so the original truck, is that right there? that's a radiator for a diesel generator right okay. there. So, and it has its own fuel tank in the back under the bumper. So it's a mix of lots of different vehicles. Uh, it's got a Volvo front axle under this. It's got a Freightliner fuel tank there. It's got some junk uh, fuel tanks that I cut in half and use as covers. So behind oh, this yeah. one is a 33 inch toolbox. This opens up, slides out, and there's about 400 pounds of tools. Come on. Wow. Yeah. So uh, it's from about this area here through the rear wheels, was, there was came from a donor Volvo. Okay. My axle ratio is a 307. I'm doing 1600 RPM at 80 miles an hour. <laughs> And I'm governed at 2,400 RPM. Wow. So I have no trouble keeping up with traffic. Yeah, I would say so. Uh, I've got, I'll open the hood in a minute. Sure. Uh, so I singled out my rear axles. Mm -hmm. That allowed me to clear the septic tanks here. This is dry storage in here. Um, and we have a small fuel tank in here. I run off-road diesel for the generator. Okay. Um, this compartment here, we keep a 16-foot inflatable pontoon boat in there. <laughs> it's all on. rolled up, folded up, and everything that goes with it what, is in there. What is this? this is this an old fuel tank you cut? Yes. You just cut in half? Yes. yes. How do you come up with this idea? Uh, my head. <laughs> so, so anyway, the the. Out, the, the boat is in there and the outboard motor is under the step up okay. here. And then this one here, all my propane is behind this one. Uh, so there's a 30 pound cylinder, a 30 pound cylinder, a 20 pound cylinder, and then a 20 gallon frame mount behind that. So I can go basically all winter camping without getting more propane. Uh, the steps live in here, they attach here. Okay and come down, there's five steps, and then there's a, a bottom step, comes out of here, goes there. The railing attaches here, attaches to the steps here, and attaches there, so you've got a railing. This, of course, opens. And the railing lives in this box right here. 
So what about these two pipes? That is well, that I just is pretty I, cool. So Barubis, uh, I had this idea <laughs> that might work. So I came down here and I got all of the angles in just iron. Mm -hmm. Took it home, tried it, saw that it worked, brought it back and said this is unused, and give me the chrome stuff. Yep. And uh, modified a Kenworth Aero Cab exhaust junction behind the cab on a Kenworth Aero Cab. Cut the angles and modified it to make both pipes come up one side. Wow. So have you been thinking about this build your entire career? No, I <laughs> I think it it sort of started the last three years before I retired, and it, then it became a reality. <laughs> uh, it, obviously, it's the kind of thing that is a substantial investment. Let's see if I can do this. I'm light. I'm light, and it's not easy. Um, Want to get it from the side? No, the other side is still hot. Ah. Happens to me at least once a week. Oh my. Oh my. Oh. KT? KTTA. KTTA. Jeez. Look at that. What kind of horsepower is this thing putting out? About a thousand. <laughs> oh my god. So you don't keep up with traffic. Traffic tries to keep up with you. Um, with my F-150 in tow behind me, crew cab F-150, if I step on the throttle at 80, mm -hmm. 10 seconds, there's a puff of smoke, and 10 <laughs> seconds later I'm doing 100. Oh my god. Yeah, it, it will keep up. It'll, traffic is... They think they can outrun me, and a lot of times they can't. <laughs> uh, wow. Let me go see the other side. I bet you're all the talk at the truck stops and at the... Well, I don't the, hang out in truck stops. At the, uh, at the camping grounds. <laughs> Do, so when you're at a camping ground with us, is all the retired truckers come and see you? Oh, yeah, everybody does. Yeah. Uh, I don't really camp much anymore. Okay. Uh, we did it the first five years. And then I ended up buying a, a place in, in Texas. And so this has become more, I came home last week. This has become more of a commuter vehicle than anything else. I okay. use it to come from Texas to, to up here. Uh, on this trip, I got 6.75 mile, miles wow. per gallon at mid 70s. It's the slowest I've ever really made the trip uh, because of the price of fuel. Sure, but, sure. Uh, so last winter, I welded up all of this. I, mm -hmm. When we went south after I put the motor in, I cut the frame right in uh, this area right here. Okay. And uh, lengthened it, added a foot of frame, put it, pulled everything forward, uh, and went south just as it was starting to snow with one air cleaner on it and it was starving for air. So after I get down to Texas, I fabricated up all of this. Out, fabricated up the shroud for the radiator. Um, you know, just made it all work. Well, thank you so much for showing me around. Yeah, absolutely. Your vehicle? Would you call it a truck, a camper, uh, a it's combo? It's licensed as a motorhome. Mm -hmm. uh, no special driver's license is needed. Isn't that something? So it's kind of fun to go by the open way stations because you're you're not a truck. Well, that's that's, so. that's fantastic. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you talking Absolutely. to me. Nice meeting you. Thank, good meeting you. All right. Thank you. Thank you.